How does Singapore, or specifically MAS, maintain price stability? As mentioned earlier, in most countries, the central bank conducts monetary policy by setting a desired level for the short-term interest rate as an intermediate target. This then maps to the final target or targets of monetary policy, such as the inflation and or employment. Under such a framework, the central bank directs the path of the interest rate or money supply, and the exchange rate moves freely. In comparison, MAS uses the exchange rate as the intermediate target of monetary policy. MAS sets a desired path for the Singapore dollar nominal effective exchange rate to ensure medium-term price stability, which is the sole and final target of monetary policy in Singapore. Under this framework, MAS allows domestic interest rates to move freely. So, why does Singapore adopt an exchange rate-based monetary policy framework? During the 1970s, two oil price shocks led to spikes in Singapore's inflation rates. As such, the late Dr. Go Keng Sui, our former Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of MAS, observed that for a small open economy like Singapore, targeting the exchange rate would be more effective than adjusting money supply or interest rates in protecting Singapore from inflationary pressures from abroad. This reinforces MAS's view that the exchange rate is a relatively more important anti-inflation instrument for Singapore's economy. Indeed, the exchange rate is important to Singapore because its economy is very open to international trade in goods and services. This causes domestic prices to be highly susceptible to fluctuations in world prices and exchange rates. In fact, Singapore's total trade to GDP ratio is the second highest in Asia. With Singapore's trade in merchandise goods amounting to more than two times Singapore's GDP. In fact, over the years, Singapore's total trade, including imports and exports of services, amounts to almost four times of our GDP. Consequently, the exchange rate continues to have an important role in household and business decisions, resulting in a stronger impact on aggregate demand and prices in the economy than interest rates.